Welcome to Battle Truth, in my point of view. I don't know you, so I'm not a hater. I can only give you the facts that's written on these papers. And since we have no dealings, therefore the court can care the less about your feelings. I'm the Honorable Malachi Markilius, your presiding judge, chairman and both person for the one united front. You are my witnesses and jury. You may be seated. Court is now in session. Let's talk about it. Okay, man, let's get this thing cracking, man. Check this out. Yeah, I know the URL be listening, watching, paying attention. I definitely do. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Queen Flips already let it be known. I'm Beasley's favorite blogger to watch. Oh. Then why you ain't why you ain't do the championships yet? Why you ain't do the championships yet then, man? Come on, man. What are you doing? Come on, man. You, you playing game. That's another blog, though. I'm going to get you, dude. I'm going to spar with you. When we when we meet up and see each other, I'm going to spar with you. I want to see what you really know in that karate stuff. I'm going to spar with you. You're going to spar with me? Don't spar with me not so serious? Well, I'm definitely going to take you serious. You're going to be scar uh, sparring, but I'm going to be fighting. If you ever think that I'm going to play anything with you, you are seriously mistaken. I've been wanting to put my foot up in you ever since you came out. <laughs> That's how you talk. For those who don't catch on when I get to talking in that voice, that's no other than what he named out the DNA. <laughs> that DNA, that DNA father. Who? Who's DNA father? Maybe, maybe not. You don't know that. You can't prove that. How do you? <laughs> no, I take that back. <coughs> My bad. That's not DNA father. That's Eric Beasley, though. DNA name Eric, too. Um, DNA name Eric, too. I just, that's why I said that. But um, uh, what else I was going to say? Oh, this is what I was going to say. Um. Uh, Sharon and Massacre 3 that took place in Boston were going up against Rum Nitty. And in one of his rounds, he took it upon himself to address Rum Nitty as being a flunky and failure for smacking the URL. He was wigging on him about how he's supposed to be smack gunner and doing all this, but yet the battle that you want, smack didn't even give it to you and gave it to no other than Arsenal. What was the battle Rum Nitty wanted? What was Sharon uh, 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 rubbing in his face? What was he uh, uh, instigating and uh, poking at him about? Well, that battle was no other than Cassidy. No other than Cassidy. Rum Nitty did a, 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 a diss, diss on Cassidy, you know, released the clip of spitting bars on Cassidy. And um, Sharon revealed that Arsenal is going to be battling Cassidy instead of you, Rum Nitty. And this battle is supposed to take place in the UK. Wow. Is there any truth in this? Could this be a strong possibility? Why wouldn't it be? Sharon is one of the one uh, is a respected known battle rapper and battle rap in on Wild and Out. He had battle rap ties and league owner ties and personal relationships with battle rappers. So him saying this and incorporating this in his round have to have some truth and validity to it. Have this ever happened before? Mm -hmm. Yes, it have. If y'all don't, if y'all, if y'all remember, who was the one that actually released Mook and Bird of B Battle? That was no other than Past Day. And what battle? And Past Day Battle versus A Bird. He released it and let it be known in the battle. Bird battling uh, uh, Murder Mook. And this was written in his rounds. This was written in his round. When ARP said he was going to do the announcement. But Paste ended up doing it in Sandy before it was even announced in the battle. With that being said, why should we not believe this? And if it is true, let me be the first to say, 
Cassidy in trouble. Cassidy dead. This on a whole nother different level than Goods. You thought you had a hard time with Goods and got bodied. This finna be zip them up. You about to be zipped up. You finna be, you already body bagged. Now you finna be zipped up and buried. You finna be zipped up and buried. Arsenal is a whole nother different animal. You talking about a guy that is the model and portrait for what battle rap is. Not one dimensional. You said Goods wasn't looking you in your face. You're going to be tired of Arsenal being in your face. All three rounds. Disrespecting you. Trying to trigger off any little thing he can to get you to snap. At the same time, be explosive with aggression, animation, stage presence, crowd control, professionalism. Yeah, this, you 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 pick. You agreed to the right one. You agreed to the white to the right one. In this time, your fans ain't gonna be able to help you. They're not gonna be able to save you. I'm sorry, they not. I'm keeping it 100. They are not going to be able to save you. You're not going to have no excuses. You're going to get smoked all three rounds. You can't keep up with Arsenal. You can't keep up with Arsenal. Goods is one of the most laid back, coolest, swagged out battle rappers in the game. Y'all was up the same speed, but even he dusted you. Arsenal is super fast. You can't keep up with that energy. You can't keep up with that aggression. You can't keep up with that passion. And how bad he been wanting you. And he know what this battle means to him. Mm -mm. You dead. This is going to be crazy. You dead. Whether Arsenal go first or last, you dead. If Arsenal go first with all that energy and power, then you rapping after him, you dead. And if Arsenal go second after you rap, and he rap after you, people ain't going to really want to hear nothing you got to say after. So you dead whether Arsenal go first or whether Arsenal go second. You dead. Why do I say he dead for all those who don't get this and don't and not trying to be honest and real? Cassidy has no stage performance. He don't know how to control the crowd. He don't have aggression and passion like that. He just rap. He just rap and pay. He pace himself and rap. Mm -mm. You got to do more than that. You're going up against one of the top in the game to ever did it. A real solidified Mount Rushmore. Hands down. A real solidified Mount Rushmore. Hands down. How did you get around that? You dead, man. I don't, I don't see you standing a chance. I'm keeping it real. You don't stand a chance. I got Arsenal 3-zip easy. 3-zip easy. Because from what I heard you do in that goods battle, you need a couple more battles to get right. To get right. And you so cocky and arrogant. You don't like people helping you. You don't like people helping you. So. You stuck in the past. Believing you still fire. You gonna die a horrible death. I'm just keeping it real. I got Arsenal easy in this battle. Three zip. Three zip. But I would say this. I commend you on accepting this battle. And taking it. Because this is going to be the hardest battle ever in your career. And I'm just keeping it real. So far, so far you, you two and one. You beat Freeway. You beat Disaster. You lost the goods. So you two and one. Look, I don't know what y'all think about Cassidy and Arsenal going down in the UK, man. Y'all think Cassidy stand a chance? I don't think he stand a chance at all. I, 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 and here's the thing about me. 
When I'm judging battles and I'm picking battles, I'm not going off favor. I'm going off what I know battle rap to be, what these do do, how they get down, what they put on, on what they passionate right now. And from what I see, if I'm judging off that, and if I got some money, money, if I got some money to bet, I'm going with Arsenal easy all the way. It ain't going to even be close. I don't even got a second guess that. Arsenal all day long. But click the link in my description box. Subscribe to Battle Truth. Follow me on Instagram. It ain't my judgment lesson question. It's yours. Rock with your boy. Follow me on Instagram.